I'm going to introduce now Julian Hubbard, who is the former MP for Cambridge and a Liberal Democrat. Thank you. Thank you, and it's great to see so many of you here to say that Cambridge will not stand for this. Cambridge will not stand for something which is so alien to our values. It is utterly, utterly unacceptable. I felt utterly distraught when I saw that Donald Trump had been elected. And I have to say, I was hoping all that time, until the inauguration, somebody would say, no, it's just a big joke. He's not actually won. It's going to be Hillary after all. But it's not a joke. It's deadly, deadly serious. There's this ban which is utterly unacceptable. There's what he's doing about the environment, which is utterly unacceptable. There's putting Steve Bannon in charge of special security, utterly unacceptable. There's his assaults, there's, there's his assaults on a woman's right to choose, which are utterly unacceptable. And it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. But what upsets me as well is that our country is not standing up to him, is not standing up to somebody who is so unpleasant, so misogynistic, so disgraceful. Theresa May has simply seen to kowtow completely, failing to take a stance. Boris Johnson. <laughs> Boris Johnson, if you remember him, sadly he's also no longer just a joke, he's the Foreign Secretary, <laughs> said that he would stand up for the rights of British nationals. That's not what we want to see. We should stand up for everybody's human rights. And, and while I'm delighted that British and Canadian and Australian and Kiwi dual nationals will be allowed in, that is not enough. And we can see what that is. Allowing English-speaking white countries access to the US is racism. Boris Johnson today was complaining about people unfairly demonising Donald Trump. Tell you what, when he stops behaving like a demon, we'll stop demonising him. There is an existential fight for internationalist values, for tolerance, for liberalism, for caring about humanity. We are facing that fight here in the UK, in the US and all around the world. It will define the next decades. We have to win this fight. Yeah. When, when you look back at history, there are times when you think, if I'd been there, I would have said something, I would have done something. We are now in history. Do something, say something, make a difference. Thank you for coming.